आज ही डाउटनेट ऐप डाउनलोड करें डाउटनेट पर होगा अब आपके सभी मैथ्स केमिस्ट्री फिजिक्स और बायोलॉजी डाउट का सफाया बस अपने क्वेश्चन की फोटो खींचो उसे क्रॉप करो और तुरंत वीडियो सोल्यूशन पाओ डाउनलोड नाउ द क्वेश्चन सीज फाइंड द एरिया ऑफ द फिगर बाउंडेड बाय द पैराबोलस एंड द पैराबोलस गिवन आर x is equals to 2y square and x is equals to 1 minus 3y square so basically we have to find the area that they both uh, cover so both they both are bounded by this parabolas so what i have done is i have drawn the parabolas here i have drawn the coordinate axes and i have drawn the parabolas and i have labeled them as well now you see that this is x is equals to 1 minus 3y square and x is equals to minus 2y square so you have to find the area of the figure bounded so from the diagram we can see that this hole is the area bounded by the parabolas so basically we have to calculate this we have to calculate this area so for doing that what we are going to do is we are going to calculate the area bounded by this parabola that is x is equals to 1 minus 3y square and subtract the area bounded by the parabola 1 minus 2y square how because suppose say like this is a uh, this is a rectangular box and this is a smaller rectangular box this part now we have to calculate the area of this one so for doing that either we find the dimensions of this and calculate the area or otherwise we can calculate the area of the whole rectangular box and minus this part so basically we are doing this using the same concept here so when we calculate the area bounded by the parabola it gives all the area that is covered so in our case so for example this 1 minus 3y square when we integrate this Uh, when we integrate this parabola from uh, from limits one to whatever limit you want, we want to find the area, so it will give all this area that comes out to be on the left part of this side. Now and similarly for this minus y two y square, so from zero to it will on the all the part on the left part. So when we subtract the area uh, bounded by one minus three y square, and my uh, when we subtract the area bounded by this by this minus minus two y square, we get the area required. So now for doing that, we need to first find these points where these two meet, so that we can calculate from where to where we have to find the coordinates. So for doing that, what we are going to do, we have to find the intersecting points. So equations are x is equals to one minus three y square, and and x is equals to minus two y square. So now see both the equations. We equate both the equations. So one minus three y square is equals to minus two y square. So when we take this on left side, so this becomes one minus y square is equals to zero. So y square comes out to be one. So from here y comes out to be minus one and one. So these are the two values of y. Now for x, for x we will put the value of y here. So this from x is given to us one minus three y square. Now in both the equations you can see that y is squared. So basically, even if we have minus one or one, the value of x will come out to be same. So we'll use one here. So x is equals to one minus three into one square. So this comes out to be x is equals to one minus three. So x comes out to be minus two. So now we from here we can say that the two coordinates are because the the coordinates will become so minus two comma minus one and minus two. Comma one. So this upper part is minus two comma one, and the lower one is minus two comma minus one. So we got our values. Now we have to calculate this. So for doing this, what we are going to do is, so the this is the area bounded. So now if you see that this area along the line along the x-axis, it is symmetrical on both sides. So basically, the area that is below the x-axis is similar to what is above the x-axis. So what we can do is we can find either one of them and just double it. Multiply it by two, we will get the whole area. So same thing we are going to do here. So for doing that, let's say this area bounded. So area area bounded by parabolas is equals to two times in sorry two times into. So we have to integrate this area from zero. Because it is uh, so not zero, yes, it is zero because we are integrating it along the y y coordinate. So basically, from y, if you see, it is going from zero to one. We just calculated the value of y. So from zero to one, we have to calculate. So from uh, the limits is zero to one. Now the uh, what the outer equation will be one minus three y square. So this will result into one minus three y square minus of this equation. So minus of minus two y square. So Into dy. So this is the equation we have to solve, and we get our 
area. So for doing this, two into this will come zero to one, one minus three y square plus two y square dy. So this comes out to be two into zero to one. So one minus y square into dy. So now we will separate these two terms. So this will come out two into zero to one dy minus 2 into 0 to 1 y square dy. So now we have to calculate, we will solve these integrals. So when we solve this, this comes out to be 2 into y from 0 to 1 minus 2 into y cube by 3 from 0 to 1. So we'll put the values of 0 and 1. So this will come out to be 0 into 1, 2 into 1 minus 0 minus 2 into this will result 1 by 3 minus 0. So when you so this comes out to be 2 minus this will become 2 by 3. So when you calculate this becomes 6 minus 2 by 3. So the answers comes out to be 4 by 3 square units. Class 6 to 12 sale need IIT J means or advanced ke level. Thus millions is other students cover. Aaj download kare doubt net up your WhatsApp ki jeep net out at 40 40 40 super.